Hi, hello everyone. I am Sudha, Assistant Professor from Department of Computer Application in KSR Arts and, Schol Arts and Science College for Women. Today we are going to discuss the topic is Object Oriented Programming in C++. Uh, introduction to C++ Programming Language. C++ is a general purpose programming language that was developed as an enhancement of the C language to include object oriented. Uh, it is an imperative and a compiled language. C++ is a middle language, rendering it, it the advantages of programming low level like drivers, kernels and even higher level application like games, uh, guy applications, uh, desktop applications etc. The basic syntax and the code structure of both C and C++ are the same. Uh, basic concept of object oriented programming using C++ uh, some basic concept of uh, class, object, encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance, abstractions. The advantages of C++ is here portability, object oriented, multi paradigm, low level manipulation, memory management, large community support, compatibility with C scalability. Uh, the decision making statement available in C++ or decision making structures require that the programmers specify one or more conditions to be evaluated or uh, tested by the program along with a statement or statements to be executed if the conditions is determined to be true and optionally other statement to be executed if the conditions is determined to be false. Uh, number of if statements are available the particularly we are using for if statement that means simple if statement if else statement nested if statement if else later next one is a yes, switch statement these are the uh, important decision making statement in c++ programming language c++ functions a functions is a group of statement that together perform a task every c++ program has at least one functions which is a main function. So without a main function, we can't access any uh, any program in our C++ language. And all the most derivable program can define additionally functions. You can uh, divide up your code into separate function. How you divided up your code among the different functions is up to you. But logically, the division usually is such that each function perform a specific task. A function declaration tells the compiler about a function name, return type and the parameters. A function definition provides the actual body of the function. Yeah, the C++ uh, standard library provides the numerous built-in function that your program can call. For example, function string concordination to concordate the two string function, uh, member copying to copy one memory location to another location and uh, many more functions function overloading function overloading come under in polymorphism concept uh, function overloading is a feature of object oriented programming where two or more function can have the same name but different parameters when a function name is overloaded with a different job it is called the function overloading function overloading the function name should be the same and the argument should be different function overloading can be considered as an example of a polymorphism future in c++ the parameter should follow any one or more than one of the following condition for function overloading parameter should have a different type add int comma a uh, int b add double double a comma double b thank you